I don't see it happening. And, and, and to elaborate on what Brother Dinkra said, the ancestors are rising from up under the ground in the water in, in, in Louisiana, up under the ground and Haiti because it's time. See, at the end of the day, you cannot think that you're going to get away with taking many, many lives without understanding that you must pay for the unrighteousness that they have done in Louisiana and Haiti. And we know what the real story behind it was. It wasn't man, it wasn't uh, nature made, it was man made. So now they uh, shall suffer their demise. See, it's getting ready to go down like Brother Dink was said, because it's time their karma must come back to them. You killed many a people, old people, young people, children, and you think you're going to get away with it? No, ancestors said hell to the no. Now it's getting ready to go down. And Mocha Brown, Houston, yes, Houston, because Houston is being unruly. Houston is the only state that didn't shut down, right? So I guess they think they're be being unruly. But if we um, see spiritually and understand spiritually what's going on, what's going on is the beans are in Houston hot and heavy. A lot of people don't understand. A lot of them beans are in Houston, okay? And these cosmic beans are getting ready to go uh, give a whipping to Houston, and where else? Um, Dallas. Dallas um, and Houston. Right. All, really, all over Texas, there's going to be something going on in the sky. That's right. Something going to be going on in the sky all over Texas. But uh, Louisiana, they got, they got some. They got, Spirit just showed me clearly. We we finally, about, like, it's about to, like, it's been just this little bit here and there with Louisiana and New Orleans. But Spirit showed me the ancestors are coming with them. That's right. And it's time now, as I told you all last week, the week before, we're all focused on the coronavirus, on COVID-19, which is a spaceship to me, y'all. Um, um, but pay attention to the violent weather that's getting ready to come. I told you all last week, remember, stock up, not because you think we run it out for because this there's some storm coming through. Get your survival kits ready. Because the lights might be out. We're losing power. You're talking about that. So get some charcoal. Make sure you got charcoal so you can grill. Okay? All of that. My thing is get prepared for violent weather to come more than what y'all thinking about this corona or this COVD. Which, again, I'm going to still call it a ship. A spaceship. Now, um, Neil, she says, I've been dreaming of orbs and I see them. I see their eyes. Yeah, there's a lot going in. There's orbs, there's cosmic beings, there's spiritual beings, mm -hmm. all kind of stuff going on in the air right now, y'all. Um, and, and, to, and to also elaborate now, how many women this month have gotten their period twice? It's a question that you have to know because a lot of women are getting their periods and they already had their periods and they're wondering why. And also, how many of you have not seen the moon out in the sky? Have y'all been paying attention? There was no moon out there tonight. Go look outside. If y'all see a moon, let us know because there was no moon outside tonight. We couldn't find the moon nowhere. Where's the moon at, y'all? Now, women, y'all know that pretty much our periods are in sync with full moons, okay? So some women are getting their periods double this month. But let me tell you what's crazy. Me going through premenopause, I haven't had my period over maybe a year. And mine's came on. I ain't afraid to say it. If it's too much, too, too much information for the men, don't act like you ain't got women you know about. Stop playing. Because, God damn it, y'all need to know, too. How many of y'all have gotten periods twice this month? Tell me. And how many of y'all have noticed there's no moon out? Come on back. And we're taking calls to 909-749-8626. 909-749-8626. We're taking calls. So feel free to call in. But this is something you all need to look at. Go outside right now and see and tell me where the moon is at. Tell me where the moon is at. And ladies ladies who have gotten their period twice in a month or your period came on sooner than you think it was supposed to, that's, there's a connection with that. And we're trying to spiritually see what it is, okay? Thank you, Neisha. No moon. Anybody else go outside. If you're different, I want to know what state you're in and I want to know where you're at. Tell us where you're at and, and, and tell us if you see a moon. Neosha, what state are you in? You said no moon. Amate, I've been seeing the moon and the sun at the same time lately. All right, Amate, I need you to go out right now and tell me if you see the moon out in Chicago. Go outside right now, pick out the window, and tell me if there's a moon. Let us know what state you're in, and if you're in that state, put the state and put no moon or a moon, because we ain't finding the moon. 
Ken says, my girlfriend had hers already this month and she's been spotting some days. See what I'm saying? A lot of women are dealing with this right now. And it has, remember, women are the natural nurturers of the earth. So women are, you know, connected, mostly connected to the energy. And especially when we got our periods, it will come mostly during the full moon. Well, the body, remember I told you all, the body's going through a change at a cellular level and transforming. But the women are dealing with it even more. All right? Mocha says, Channel 11 just started. We are about to have a curfew in Houston, Texas. Yeah, that, and that's what I was saying on the news. They were saying that they've been putting pressure on the government, governor of Texas to um, shut that, call a statewide shutdown. And the government, they the, in Texas, they don't really like the big governments telling them what to do. So the governor, he said, you know, he was leaving it up to the um to the cities and the local cities and, and the local, uh, you know, the local state government to deal with that within themselves. And the gov federal government was like, no, you need to call a, a, <laughs> a statewide shutdown. All right, y'all. All right, so we got Kim, we got Grayson, we got Star Eve, Ira Day. Tell us what city you're in and if you see a moon right now. And then I want y'all to tell me what y'all think. There's no moon out there. Where's the moon at? What's up, that dude? No moon in Missouri. No moon in Portland, Oregon. Wh okay, so don't y'all find something funny about that? No moon in Chicago. No moon. No Vill moon in Nor North Carolina. No moon, moon in Georgia. Vill Can't find it. No moon in Vallejo, California. That dude says, "I just got up out of healing. Healing what? You were sick." What was going on? That dude, you was losing your mind? Erica, huh? Erica McFarland, no moon in Texas. No moon in Texas. So Oregon, Texas. Te okay, there's no moon in Texas. There's no moon in Oregon. There's no moon in Vallejo, California. There's no moon in Missouri. Can't tell right now. It's snowing out here, and there's snow clouds in the air. The, the moon should still, still should be uh, uh, visible, Amate. No moon in uh, Kentucky. All right, family. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? Come on now, tap into your first eye because I'm just not the only one. He's not the only one. I know y'all got natural intuition. What are your thoughts about that? And if you're a woman, if you're a woman and you've gotten your period twice this month, there's a connection between no moon and there's a connection between the woman getting their period, which says to me that there's a spiritual transformation going on with the feminine energy first, okay? And we as women have to pay attention. Ladies, I'm going to give you a ritual you need to do. If you've gotten your period twice this month, whatever's going on with your body right now, I want you to catch your first urine in the morning with your blood in it, okay? I want you to take it and go outside and preferably pour it by a tree, okay? And ask to be protected and connected to Mother Earth, okay? That's what you're going to do. Get a jar, get a cup, use your first morning urine with your blood in there, and then go out by a tree and pour it out there and ask for connection and protection to be interconnected with Mother Earth and protection. Pour your blood in, in the, uh, by the tree, okay? This is something all ladies can do. It's not a secret ritual. You should do this as a being part of being connected to nature and being the natural nurturer as women, okay? So y'all need to do that. Candy Rain says it's a new moon today. But we haven't seen it for the last couple of days. Candy so Bane, where is it? Show me the moon. There's no moon out. 